Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to take a look at Amazing Mods for Daisy, episode four. Apologies, this took some time and the lack of videos on YouTube lately. My son was very ill, but he's all better now. And the workshop has been picking up pace lately. So I apologize if I've missed your mod. It may be featured in a future video as I catch up. Let's kick off today's video with Daisy Plus by Kuro Akita, which features multiple new weapons to Daisy as well as a weapon rack modification. The weapons included are the G36 plus the 30 round Stanag Mag, Mac 10 plus 30 round mags, G18 plus 15 round and 30 round magazines, a Lee Enfield, M14 plus the 20 round magazine, and an M24. Some of these weapons do have new sounds and they sound really sexy. As for the weapon rack, it spawns in industrial areas and weapons are visible on the rack once you've placed them in its inventory. More weapons are being added to Daisy Plus in the future, including World War II era weapons. Do keep in mind, as of the making of this video, the weapon models are placeholder, but new ones are being made from the ground up by Daigra Kaiser. And we also have Daisy Plus on our modded server for you guys to enjoy. Next up, we're going to take a look at a new map being ported by Matthew Longtime. I believe its original creator for Arma 2 was Falcos, and then it was ported to Arma 3 and became the first modded life map. It is based off of real life terrain, but the city, roads, etc. are made up, and it's 16 kilometers from one corner to the other. Lakeside is on the Daisy Workshop, so you can download it and give it a try yourself. Matthew does have a tutorial video on his channel, as well as many other tutorials, so check his channel out. It is going to take Matthew a while to get it into a finished, playable state for normal server use, as he's got to place all objects, roads, etc. himself but it will be nice to have another map as an option to play on our servers. I will be keeping a close eye on Lakeside as well as other maps being developed, and I will report on them for you guys as soon as they are playable. And next up, we have an amazing scripting guide by Sneaky Kitty Gaming. These tutorials are obviously more specific towards scripting. And if any of you guys are familiar with the Armor 3 scripting tutorials he did, the series has 7.4 hours worth of videos. You should expect a similar amount of content and beginner friendliness from the Daisy standalone scripting series as the modding tools and amount of public information mature. The series starts out very basic and extremely beginner friendly to help new users overcome that daunting starting point, which can be quite intimidating and get them started so they can build up their confidence and understanding of Daisy scripting. The content of the video will progressively get more advanced, with more in-depth explanations on how, what and why we are doing what we are doing. This allows for the viewer to build themselves up and be able to learn on their own. The end goal is for the user to feel comfortable, know how to research and read other people's code with the ability to know what they are looking at and to have the mental arsenal to be able to create and release whatever ideas pops into their head so we can have fresh and unique content that everyone can enjoy. And of course, I'll probably have a look at these scripting guides myself with our admins for the servers as we try to make the servers as sexy as possible for you guys. But if you're interested, take a look at these scripting guides and hopefully one of you could make something extremely special once you learn how. And finally today, I just wanted to do a proper video announcement for our new Septic Falcon modded community server using Daisy Plus mod, Weapon Redux mod, Septic Falcon merch, so you can find a t-shirt or a hoodie or a baseball cap with my logo on. These are super rare, so keep them safe. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, more weapons will be added to Daisy Plus by Kuro Akita over time, as well as more clothing options for you guys on the Septic Falcon merch, as well as other means. More variety is always better when it comes to clothing and weapons, in my opinion. It's also been a long time plan to make Altair Radio Station a safe zone. So we're going to wall it off with kind of Castle Wars, add some extra details there, and you'll be able to communicate with other players from Altair Station on their radios all around the map and call out that this is the safe zone, come here for safety. Of course, remember guys, Daisy modding is still very much in its infancy. There could be problems and things might not work out as we planned, the same as development with Daisy is at the moment. We will work it out and we will get there as soon as we possibly can. Thank you for the support. Don't forget to check out all the links for today's video in the description below. Join our Discord for all the information on our modded server. If you have any issues or how to join, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you peeps next time. A couple of bodies Far in the deal line. If you want to you wanna loot them, there's a couple of bodies there. Oh. Unfortunately, my friend got shot as well, so... Oh. Where was your friend when he got shot? Uh, deal line. Oh, all right. <laughs> like, guy, he looks right like now. he looks like Stevie Wonder or something. He stood there with black sunglasses, looking in the air. Alright, yeah, there's another two of us somewhere. Watch him. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, he's like, do, look at the sky. Do, do, do you need anything? Do you need anything, dude? Piano. Piano. Yeah, do you need a piano? I don't think I need anything, honestly, no. Okay, cool. Well, good luck, dude. Looks like you need your yep. neck cracked. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 you, see, just, you see how he just run off with his neck back? <laughs>